Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 3 Ruined World. It just so happens, I am happy to report, that the Amulet of Rapid Returning does work as far north as Gale. As to why I'm here, I don't want to go back to the Tower of Shifting Floors right now, I want to go on another field trip. And while I'm at Ford Emergence, Someone in the comments has requested that I do firewalk at the entrance of Fort Emergence to find a secret area. Someone has set up a crude tripwire in front of this chest, perhaps in a naive effort to protect it. If I wind up tripping the trap, I will just reload. Traps armed. Yay. And this chest has some gold, some food, a crossbow, and a helmet. I guess just in case Fort Emergence finds itself sacked or something. Ooh, and there's one on the other side, too. This one has a knife. Which I'm honestly kind of curious about. A magic knife. Not bad, but uh, doesn't quite measure up to all the magic artifacts that I have right now. So we'll just put that back. Also, I did go and sell off all of my golem gems in Gale. I had almost a hundred of them. And while I'm here, I'm gonna get some training done. Because I forgot to do that in Gale. Back in a moment. Oh hey, I managed to find at least one of the wizards from the tower. X is here, in the guest quarters. That's very good to know for when I need another magical spell reward. So, onward to Ernest's hut, because he can teleport me close to where I want to go. That way. There we go. Buy a ticket from Ernest. Check my destination. Teleport to Shader. Because it's on the Isle of Begale, and I want to investigate an artifact quite nearby. by passage over to the island. Not deal with the ruined city of Nice, but instead... You reach the northeastern tip of the island and find a bright, sunny, light copse of trees. Strange, though. When you enter, you notice that you can hear no animal noises at all. No birds, no animals. The overall effect is quite creepy. And there's a dungeon here that we were not able to access before. The Lair of Dracos. Eh? Oh, that's something. 
It may take me a minute or two to figure out how to get in here. There's a door. I can access more of this corner than any of the others, I think. No? Oh. Interesting. Okay, big hall of pillars. Surely nothing dangerous will suddenly appear and start menacing me here. Um, hmm. This appears to be some sort of teleporter maze because I'm not moving on the map. Okay, fire. Also a big pit of nothingness in the middle. A door that presumably will do me no good at present. Alright then, fire walk it is. Too bad Firewalk does nothing for the flame clouds. Ah, that's not really worth a revive all. It's barely worth a heal all. It is worth my backup priest using a few light heal alls. Gouts of flame erupt from the floor ahead of and behind you. As the flames start to fade, you realize what you were seeing was several hostile creatures making a very dramatic entrance. Oh boy. So yeah, apparently the flaming weapon effect just acts as permanent assassination. It's not even especially fiery. I am okay with this. <laughs> Avatar time. Oof. Okay, good. The Ifrits are not resisting slow, and... Okay, I see ice walls, and somewhere in here... Yeah, ice drake. Lovely.
So, Garnet, shall we use your halberd of smiting, or shall we try and be a bit more clever here? Freet resists. What about death arrows? Sort of effective? Well, I could always go for old reliable. Oh wait, Peridot only has four spell points left. <laughs> I should have done null bugs instead of quick ca quick ghasts, but quick ghasts are just so much fun. Also, I feel like these afrites are going down way easier than expected. Stop getting distracted by the tiny little summons. And because the ice drake can see me, it's that much harder to do any looting. Great. Unidentified great helms, chainmail buckler. I mean, the chainmail could be mithril, but how many mithril suits do I already have? Magic gauntlets, though. And now, Walls of Ice. I do hope I have enough energy... I do hope I have enough spell points to get through here. <laughs> Yeah, I keep hoping for a break in the ice and I, I don't I don't think it's happening. Of all the places to put the ice drakes, I'm kinda glad actually they put them in the anti magic fields.
Oh, wait, are you surrounded by pillars? So I can't get to you. Oh, that's not fair. Though it does also mean that I can just ignore you and you can't do anything to me. Okay, magic barriers might have to do something about that. With a chorus of pleasant chiming noises, many red lizards materialize to the south. Hooray? I think I'm going to have to end combat mode to get rid of at least one of these barriers. I see you. And you're not going to take any damage from the flame clouds. Equip missile. Fire lizards are low enough level that I'm actually doing decent damage with archery. Yet yeah, can't dispel barriers in combat mode. Yes, you can uh, see me through the pillars, can't you? What does this switch do? It does a click. Beyond that, I don't know. A moment ago, there was nothing to oppose you to the west, aside from a couple of fire lizards. Now, all of a sudden, you see several large, pallid, lumpy humanoid creatures. They look at you hungrily. What fresh horrors? Gorgons! Okay. Steven, let's hold you in reserve a little bit. Everybody's going to have to... 
wait a tick. What if I do something a little unexpected here? Success! I didn't have to have my casters go through all the fire! And I am very resistant to sleep clouds. And you guys, I cannot hit with throwing weapons, or at least not very easily. Yeah, go ahead, waste all of your turns casting sleep clouds that do nothing to me. a good time for another revival. Okay, that door might lead back outside, which is not where I want to go right now. The pillars are shifting. Okay. Uh, what, what am I supposed to do here? You stand at a narrow ledge, running around the side of a sheer pit. The pit extends both far above and below you, and the sides are far too smooth to climb. Moist, odd-smelling air and loud growls rise from the depths below. Okay, teleporter here, and... The corridor ends at a stairway down. Interesting. There is a glowing teleporter here, ready to send you to heaven knows where. Step in. Now on second thought, I will try the stairs first. Oh boy, lots of darkness here. Uh, 
I can go back upstairs freely. And the teleporter takes me to... Outside again. Well, I guess we use that when we're done dealing with whatever's down here. Can I magic map this? Cool, I can. Now it will bother me a little less to have my lights off. Okay, lava. With what appears to be a regular rock at the end of it. Forest and statues. And it's called the Basilisk Lair. Oh, that would explain the statues. This might be a good time to swap shields. Monster saw me, but I still don't see it. Oh, there. Oh, because they were blending in with the trees. Ha. And another. I don't see how I can get to you. Ah, but Connie does have enough spell points. The darkness will not save you. At least not for long. Still alive? Amazing what a simple bless can do for you.
place is a maze of trees and statues and water. Oh, nice. Got one with throwing weapons. There are countless bones scattered among the stalagmites and scree of this cavern. There are countless bones scattered among the stalagmites and scree of this cavern. Many of the bones are animal, but even more came from humanoids. Oddly, some of them are vibrating slightly. There must be a strange, powerful enchantment on this cavern. So, undead monsters when? There's one. Take a moment to figure out where I am on the map. the enemies haven't been too bad so far, but the environmental hazards have been annoying. Also, Lair of Dracos, cave with lots of lava in it, something about this is just screaming Drake or even Drake Lord to me. Yup. You reach a large, muggy cavern, dominated by a massive, bubbling fumarole in the middle. You stare through the thick mist, looking for signs of life. Unfortunately, it doesn't take long to spot them. Two massive, sinuous shapes shift about in the distance. They are drakes, each several times your height. The larger one speaks. I am Dracos, queen of drakes, and I am pleased that for once our food has come to us. Your fate will match that of the last group of puny humans that came here. The Drake Lords begin to laugh. You start to draw your weapons, only to find that your location has suddenly changed. Ew. Well, at least you breathed fire on everyone, so that we took moderate damage instead of one person taking huge damage. Okay, one Drake Lord. Some corpses. Two Drake Lord. Not yet. But definitely doing major blessing.
I do notice that you I do notice that you two are not particularly poison resistant. At least compared to some of the other enemies we've dealt with. Oh, Garnet is now direly low on spell points. Lovely. Now, oh, Venom Arrows is out. Yeah. Oh, how dare you cast Revive All on yourself? Could get interesting. Okay, Amethyst is now blessed and slightly healed. Potion of Bliss may not really be worthwhile anymore. Horn of Warriors could give the Drakes a few extra targets. Not sure that it would really do that much good. Will the Wand of Paralysis do anything? Drake Lord resists. Wand of Charming is oddly tempting. I don't think it would work on the Drake Lord. Maybe I should be focusing on one drake at a time instead of splitting my efforts like this? Yerg. Just for grins and giggles, because I'm pretty sure I'm about to die. What? Drake Lord is charmed? <laughs> Did that just work? What the hell? What? <laughs> okay, the Wand of Charming is officially broken. And if Steven had more spell points... I might consider trying to use the Charm Foe spell. I do still have a couple charges on the wand. <laughs> Ow! 
Acid. Drake Lord takes one. Yay. Honestly, invulnerability. And I have so few spell points I can barely do anything. Alright, fine. Spend all your turns summoning. See if I care. That went well! ludicrously well after nearly going very badly. Ooh, Archer's Bow. Plus three to hit and I believe give some defense. So I guess Dracos is just my new friend now. <laughs> oh my, wow. And I need to recover some spell points so I can do the fire walking. Amethyst, you super don't need regeneration anymore. Everyone else does. Especially Steven. loot. Some rocks, necklace, potions. Sure, I'll take some boots. The darts are definitely useless. Bones, someone's favorite mug. A skull, stone short sword, and a mace that I'm not going to bother with. Yeah. You find the body of a man, perfectly, magically frozen. The body must be a trophy. It is still in practically the same condition it was just after being decapitated by Dracos. Whoever this man was, he was truly impressive. And comes complete with nice plate. And broadsword, gauntlets, shield, and a few more gold pieces. You can keep the other stuff. I'm pretty sure it's not that special. Certainly not compared to the armor. <laughs> oh my. The Drake Lord... Is going up against the ghasts. I can only assume it is still friendly to me. Let's see if that theory holds. I don't want to use the editor, but I can if I have to. Hi, Dracos. Thanks for clearing out the undeads. <laughs> I wonder if the ghasts and whites are able to do any damage whatsoever to the Drake Lord.
<laughs> oh my, that is a lot of damage from Divine Thud. So can the drake see in the dark, or does it just target anything it happens to run into? Ooh, a white. That's a new one. Oh my goodness, the Drake Lord cast Avatar on itself. <laughs> Anything nearby is dead. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. going to assume that there's no fresh basilisks in here. Nope, it looks like I missed one. I think that's the one that I just kind of ignored and walked past. And... Safely out of here. Weak and medium curing potions. Delightful. Archer's bow does give actually quite a good defense bonus. Could slap that on to anyone that I want to be getting hit less. Possibly Peridot. Garnet doesn't have anything new. Peridot doesn't have anything new. Ooh, Ambrosia and Medium Speed. I think a couple of these potions are new. Ambrosia heals totally. That could have been useful at some point. But more importantly, Pactar's Plate protects from many things. Very helpful when... Uh, dealing with enemies that shoot fire or ice or acid breath at me. This is truly awe-inspiring plate armor. It's of an archaic design, but is shiny, polished, and as perfect as if it were newly forged. An enamel dragon breathing fire is on the chest. At some point, I'm going to have to figure out who wears that one. It's got high base defense, high bonus, three encumbrance... Significantly more base defense and also encumbrance than a magic chainmail. Alright, I believe that's enough for this session, so I will see you all elsewhere. Until then, 
have a good one, everybody.